Yo, we'll get it guys, Clevo King here. We're finally at the tail end of this real nice XR build that I've been helping a customer of mine out with. It's a 67 XR Falcon sedan with a fresh 351 Cleveland with a C6 and a nine inch LSD. It's real nice. If you've been watching some of our other videos on the Brisbane Brothers, you'll see we've made a few killer videos you guys need to check out about this car. And today we're at the stage where we're about to turn it on for the first time, break the camshaft in. So uh, it's quite a, quite a nerve wracking stage when you get this far along with the build. Got a PWR radiator, we've got our thermo fans wired up, nice ignition, 650 double pumper Holly Carby, Edelbrock performer, it's running a comp thumper cam so it's gonna sound sick. Alright guys, let's get into it. Let's hit the key, break it in, we'll keep it on for a full 20 to 25 minutes, revving it between two to two and a half thousand. What you want when you're doing it is a little bit more deceleration and less acceleration the you're actually bedding the rings into the bores as the revs are coming down they'll be thrown out centrifugally and uh, the other thing we're going to be doing is looking for leaks keeping our eyes open checking for fuel water coolant oil anything like that let's have a bit of an eyeball this thing looks sick beautiful Alrighty. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Something you've got to remember when you're starting an engine for the first time, you can't really just put a timing light straight on it and start actually tuning the engine. There's only X amount of things that you can adjust, like the carby transfer slots, giving it a little bit of initial timing, controlling your total curve with the map. The timing curve I've chosen here for this particular build is E. Alrighty. This is it guys, I can taste it. Everything's been checked. It's gonna be sick. We've done a full fuel line upgrade from the center in the tank right up to the pump here. 3 8 one piece line, 3 8 center, 3 8, three eight hose barbs in this um, Pro Flow high performance mechanical pump. They're pretty cool. Got the old 140 amp Aeroflow one wire alternator over here with the pro flow billet bracket set that's quite a neat bit of kit that was fun to put on single row pulleys running the uh, century nope the century 68 mf it's got enough juice pacemaker trial wise plenty of goodies going on here done the old wheelwood conversion here boost the delete Nice thick, thick bore shocks on the front. It's great. and slammed in the back, good seek. Drum brake 9 inch in here, proper length. Alrighty guys, she's been given the check. Everything should be good. Let's hit the key and see if she makes some noise. Yep, hit it back on. Yep, 